Hello, Divine Sunshiners. Stay uplifted, stay motivated, stay ascended. Namaste, Namago. Divine Sunshine coming to you with a, another trigger warning message. Um, we're living in a parallel universe that needs to be flipped. Okay. So in the parallel universe that we have, we know that there are this universe operates on a system. And in the 3D, we say a lot of things of saying I feel instead of I think and then when we talk about our spirituality in the 5D sense we always say I think instead of I feel we have to start now getting to the point that we flip that system of doing things and that's why I say they're parallel but they're like alternative universes that have gone bad <laughs> which is Again, when we're in the 3D thing, we should be in the point of, I think. Because, again, this is Earth. This is a teachable planet. And I've said this very much so. Because this is some of the reasons why some of us have decided to come to Earth. Rather you believe as you are an uh, angel. Or either you're coming back in another life. Or you believe that you're other kind of... Other things that some people say, extraterrestrial things, other earth things. They come in here and want to experience that from their point of view so they can understand what it is to be a human. Uh, those things. Whatever it is they're saying, I'm not saying Divine Sunshine is with it or without it. However, those are a lot of theories that are out there floating as to why people are choosing to go earth. We know that they say the earth is the most densest planet. Because it has more of, uh, again, the density of energy and density of, again, of things in which you got to learn and things that you got to work through. And a lot of times they figure, you know, hey, that's almost the same thing like they say in Chicago. If you can drive the Dan Ryan Expressway here, you can drive anywhere. That used to always be a running joke that my, my dad had all the time. And that's true because I could drive here and I could drive the expressway even down there in Atlanta. It wasn't scaring me. Other people were like, oh, my God, the cars, Jesus Christ. You know, and afterwards they're like, I got to find the nearest bar after I get off this expressway. <laughs> because, you know, the traffic, y'all drive fast, everything like that. And that's the same thing when we're talking about here in Earth. Earth is like this. It's got all this extra stuff for us to really like. If you really do, you get extra bonus points here because it's like it's like I really want to le learn the lesson and I want to learn it well and I don't want to repeat it. And so that's why you choose Earth. However, as we're doing that, we have been going through the operating systems of I feel, I feel, I feel. Okay? When we're talking about in the 3D. Now, when we're talking about in the 50, we talk about I think, I think, I think. That type of stuff, and I've been saying this for the longest, is not really one of a operation system or a way of doing things that's going to get you really by or doing things successfully in the 50 because everything is more so of energy, is soul, is resonated, especially as a divine. You know, you got to be able to, and I think about this, talking about some cultures, especially when we're talking about the African-American cultures. It's always a running joke, too, about that, that you have to find yourself going between two worlds, okay, and the language and the lingo of how you're talking. When you're with your peeps, you talk one way, you know, you got the Ebonics going and the broken English, everything. And then when you go into the world or the corporate world and you got to deal with people in the business thing you clean it up and you know you start talking proper english okay and so those are the things that we have to understand that when we go into each realm or dimensions there's a need to be able to be bilingual or bi-dimensional uh, maybe i'll title that bi-dimensional as well in order to be able to seek and have your being and have success in your movement in those energies we have now because of things that have happened to us have swapped 
the energies and we have not been dealing with it in the way in accordance that we should. So when we're in the fifth D, we're always saying, well, I think, you know, I don't think that's going to happen because I'm thinking that, you know, he probably is not going to do it because I'm thinking he with the karmic and I'm thinking that he in that situation and I'm thinking he ain't going to. Okay, wrong, 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 wrong. Instead of now, when you in the fifty, that's why we say it with your heart. Well, I feel that you know I'm, I feel he's in that situation, but when I check my heart, I feel that he's really loves me. He just feels like he's stuck. He doesn't see the way uh, at it, but I feel that he really wants to be with me and not in that situation. Now that's fifty talking. We're more so in that. Now the other parallel to that is when I go into again. To the 3D, yeah, then all those other stuff exists, the thinking of that part. But then again, you would use that again, as April would say about the positivity and put that on the spin. I think that, you know, by me holding firm and having this belief of really opening my heart to understand where he is, that he still loves me. He really does want to be with me, but there's some things and some options, some um, obstacles that are there that's not making it as easy as him for to get to me. Then now, still talk about the positive, still talk about it on the 50 and the 3D, the parallel, the alternative, the parallel universes or the dimensions as well. And so this one is to see that, you know, it's a time and place in which you use the lingo or the language or the way you operate in when you in the divine and you're really saying about that you're going more so into the feeling that's rather if you're praying about something saying your affirmations is coming from the heart when you're talking about your resonating things into the 3d you're coming from a mindset of your thinking it's not i feel in the 3d and a lot of times we swap it well i feel he really happy with her oh i'm feeling that in that kind of situation it's getting best like this is I could do while I'm in here on this job working 20 for 20 years, but I'm not happy. But I feel that this is the best I could do because they give me a steady paycheck. Okay, now nah, that's not it. You know, I think that again, that this job it has really, if I think about it in the 3D, I think that it has really, I'm looking at the evidence and I'm looking at this boss that's being micromanaged and it's making me think that maybe it's time for me to go. OK, that's another way of saying that's how you can use your superpower for good. But some kind of way we have a tendency, we mix up the parallel universes, we turn it on its head and it gets all out of whack and sequence as to how everything is supposed to do. All right, then that's all I wanted to bring to you about that. I probably I guess we'll release all of this because I feel like the energies is now um, needed uh, as well, and especially with me doing more of this work with the people in this past life regressions is really bringing a lot of things and I'm connecting dots because I'm always looking for trends. I'm looking for patterns. I'm looking for energies that's leading me into a certain way. So again, as always, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. You got good stuff for those people who are truly looking to step up and go to the next level and getting the keys into union. Make sure you give this to the serious ones um, for this one because that's what I'm giving you so you can be able to do and ascend and get union with self and in union with the world and union with your person. All right, then, as always, stay uplifted, stay motivated, stay ascended. Namaste, Nama Go. Don't forget about our 12 12 event that's happening on 12 12. It's at 12 12 p.m. Central Time. And the access pass is only $12.12. 12 this is a YouTube Live that will be hosted right here on this channel. Make sure that if you want to take advantage of the Black Friday sale, come on to DivineUnisoles11.co, which will be on sale for $7.12. We don't know how long Divine Sunshine might forget that she got it on. <laughs> so I would take advantage and look um, definitely quite often and see she might forget that she's got it on on the weekend. Just saying. So, again, so we want to take advantage. You want to know more in detail about what's going on and bringing in the divine order um, for, to the next year event. Make sure you stay to the bitter end of this video. And so you can see who's going to be speaking, our friends, and what's it all going to be about. All right, then. As always, love you. Till next time.
I am a twin flame. I mean, maybe there's one other person, but this is a part of my life that doesn't get to be expressed to people because they don't understand it. They're never going to understand it. And their energy is going to get in it if I talk about it. And we can perceive the loss of free will, but it's not as scary as it once was. And, um, and I think that just massive tectonic plates of shifting um, stifled emotion is, is happening, um, not in a way that's debilitating, but in a way that is persistent. Okay. But either way, the whole aspect is, okay, one thing, all right, we're talking about rules. The only hard fast rule, and this has been brought to me over and over and over again, is unconditional love. That's the purpose, is raising the frequency of Gaia, and that includes the human collective, not just the Twin Flame or the Ascension collect. There's no, we put labels on everything and it kind of, you know, divvies everything up, but we are a human collective. Mm -hmm. a, a living body of souls. <laughs> and the whole purpose is bringing that higher frequency the only way to do that is unconditional love. Some things that I don't think have occurred to people. Because sometimes people get very, very flattened out in the head by a lot of the psychobabble that takes place. And it's not that those things are invalid, but it's time to move beyond it. And I mean really move beyond it. Okay? Now... She has been, quote, doing the work or what she considers doing the work or the things that she has felt is the work. And some of that involves too much mental overload, too much mental uh, input, too much information, not enough love. And when I say not enough love, it doesn't mean that she's not loving. It means that she may be going about it in some old ways. Things like saying, well, I've been holding space for five years. So right now, she wants to just kind of give up. I know I've had it. You know, I deserve a life too. When is this ever going to get normal? I want normalcy. I want a life. Yes. But what you may not realize is that there is a new level to be achieved for that life. Well, I've been doing work. Well, you may have been doing 3D work. Uh, you may have been doing psychological research. You may have been using tools, which really won't be sufficient by comparison to expanding your natural abilities, which is through your body. Well, I don't really understand that. Could you explain more? Yeah.